I am Pajamas Concrete. Uh, some people might call me an artist. And I play the Shred Axillator in Radioactive Vampire Teeth. Good evening, and welcome to the program. You're listening to CBC. <laughs> Hi, my name is Matthew Springer. I play in Radioactive Vampire Teeth. My friend Jack uh, moved away out of the city and he gave me this little toy that I had seen before and had played a show with. Um, is a kid's toy guitar. And so I had this fun thing and I invited a bunch of people over to jam and I kind of uh, <laughs> hid it away because I knew people were going to get really distracted by it if I <laughs> saw it. PJ came over for the, the jam and uh, I was like, I think you're going to be the perfect person to, to show this thing to. So... <laughs> She uh, picked it up and immediately was like already in love with it and like understood it. <laughs> and PJ said to me, she's like, I'm like, why don't we just like kind of like start something for fun? This is the triple zero shred accelerator 3200X series. It's the replacement for the lead guitar in our band. This is the main rhythm. And then this is the secondary music mode. I think my favorite sound that this produces is the touch sensor, uh, just because it is so punishing. Uh, people tend to not like that one as much, but I think it is my favorite. I think broadly, my music is sort of about wanting to be somewhere else. There's a lot of mentions of the city in my work and they tend to be negative. Waking up in Calgary, Alberta is my uh, nightmare. <laughs> I do it every day. I would say Calgary is not the nicest city for people like me, both for transness and being weird. <laughs> I kind of had this pivotal moment in my life where I realized Everyone was running away from Calgary because they wanted to be in a better city. And at a certain point, it is someone's responsibility to make Calgary more interesting. And I, I do think Calgary is coming on a pivot where there is going to be a massive movement of some sort. I think it's at its boiling point wherein like there's a lot of people who are like me who are very unhappy living here and are expressing that in various ways. I'm a lot more like new to being openly queer. Um, it's like even just as of last year, I don't think I would have been able to like say that. It's just I'm really happy about that. And the crowd that comes to the shows is inherently queer, it seems like. So I've been around a lot of more like-minded people, which has really like opened me up, and like I feel really comfortable in that group. It's the way for me to like just express myself, like I don't know, in all kinds of ways. At my core, I'm a very confrontational person, and I think the ability to present yourself in a way that's unacceptable is an extremely powerful tool. And I think a lot of social change just comes out of forms of identity. We definitely like want to try and like push boundaries and, and get weird. I think Calgary needs some weird stuff. I feel like we, we bring that a little bit. <laughs> if anything, out of any goal of playing like music for this project is I, I would like to express to other people to just embrace your inner weirdness. And also just like, you know, if you need to be crazy and just like go all out musically or artistically, then you, you should, you shouldn't hold that back. You should just like let that out and be yourself. <laughs> 